Pre Plymouth away. Jermaine, obviously, big disappointment last week I mean, against Accrington. I imagine the boys very keen to put, put it right this week. Yeah, I mean, like, desperate to get um, the next game on the way. Um, it's just hard. It was a um, midweek game, so you just literally got to wait till the next Saturday. And, you know, even prior to that, like, I think it's just been disappointing in terms of the games before and our home, our home form in, in general. So, um, you know, Plymouth away, I think. Um, you know, we get a result there and we buzz in again and, and, and that's where we're at at the minute. Um, it's just a matter of trying to get a run together again. Yeah, everyone said after that 11-game unbeaten run came to an end, let's go on another run. And I suppose it's a lot easier to say than it is to do, isn't it? Yeah, of course. I mean, in between that time, you know, it was, uh, it was working really hard and, you know, um, I think it's it maybe a bit of complacency coming to the Accrington game. You can't... Um, you know, just turn up and win. You know, we're probably obviously expected to win games like that at home against the likes of Accrington and um, you know um, goals change games. And you know, um, put our first half of that game we probably didn't deserve anything anyway. So um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where literally um, the Plymouth game come Saturday is something that we really want to get get going again and, and try and pick up a run. Um, yeah, runs that come easy and you earn your rewards. And I don't think obviously playing like the way we did in the first half against Accrington, we're going to get many runs like that. So. You know, um, hopefully, um, starting Saturday we can get us to pick our season up again. And personally, for you, the Accrington performance, especially in the first half, must have been a, a disappointment because you like to play out wide. There's the four-four-two. I, I suppose the shape that suits you best, and as a team, it just didn't happen for you, did it? Yeah, I mean, me and my personal note, um, I'd be onto the gaff to, like, I mean, get me back out into my normal position, and I didn't really do myself justice. If I'm honest, um, I feel that. Um, you know, maybe 4 4 is not, it's just not happening for us for whatever reason. I don't think there's any excuse why we shouldn't be able to play 4 4 at home and, and play well and beat Accrington. But, um, you know, it didn't happen. So um, I don't think anyone's really um, staked the claim for the shirt. So um, everyone's biting at a bit at the minute. Who wants to play against Plymouth? Everyone wants to put it right. Um, I personally want to put it right. Um, and the only way you can do that is out there on the pitch and to prove to the gaffer and maybe get his trust back in, in terms of that. And I feel that anyone that gets a shirt now really um, was a point and now they're point now, now they're placed down in the team. And I suppose in that case it doesn't matter what position you play, you just want to be one of those players putting it right, don't you? Yeah, of course. Like, I mean, I've played a few positions this season and I've been and I've been happy because I'm out there and I've got the opportunity to play right or, or play well or be in, in, the, in the side that's doing well. But, um, you know, like I said, um, he could do anything um, Saturday and no one's really put um, now they're placed down after the last, probably the last couple of games. So, um, it's one of those where if you do get the shirt and even if, if, if you're on the bench or whatever, you want to, as soon as you get that chance, you want to um, get your trust back and, and get yourself on the side and, and play them well. And if they do go on the run, you want to be involved in that especially. And Plymouth then won for a little while either. So two teams not in the greatest form. How much is it just going to be perhaps a scrappy game, but a battle of a battle of wills, if you like? Yeah, I mean, it'll be a tough game. We've had some tough games going up there, but... Um, I think that it's come at a good time. I think that's what, exactly what we need to you know, get out of the little um, downfall we're at. So, um, you know, um, we'll go out there, we'll prepare as usual and, and, and we'll be ready. And uh, I think they think a point ahead of us and you know, it's in the place to where we are on the table, probably with similar ambition. So we need to, we know where we want to be. Um, we need to, it's important we put a run together and it starts with our next um, game, which is the most important. And, you know, we'll be looking forward to it as well. I'm ready. Be good to go above them as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I think I've heard... Um, and the Geffers say in the past, um, we're not going to go sixth or fifth in one game. I mean, it, it's bit by bit, and you know we just keep picking up three points. And to be fair, our away form's been been a lot um, decent this season, um, and uh, that'll give us confidence. And it's, it's, it's about results at the minute, and we really want a result against Plymouth. Good man, thank you. Good luck. Right. I mean, you've been here for about two years now. Yeah. How would you summarise your time at Cheltenham overall? I've enjoyed it. I mean, it's been. It's, it's, it's been brilliant for me. Um, I've had some, you know, lots of ups and downs, um, and um, been luckily to be involved in some big games here, um, you know, and a bit of history with the club. And uh, you know, last two seasons have been up and floating in the playoffs um, usually, and just trying to stay in there. And maybe having a bit of a tricky spell in around March, and now we're almost chasing it. So um, it's, it's, it's a change, but you know, it's all it's all good. Us going in there with a bit of momentum, hopefully. So um, yeah, it'd be nice to get there for um, season running. Yeah, this time two years ago, you, you were 
he went top of the league at Macclesfield and it all looked good. He just fell away a little bit, but one thing you haven't done since you've been here is finish a season strong, is it? So you're going to need to, to break that if you're going to get involved in it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like I said, um, we've been up there from early before and then fell off, so it would be nice to go in there with a bit of momentum and, and you know, it would be nice to finish strong and, um, you know, we've got the ingredients, we've got the players to do it, so, um, you know, we've definitely got a good squad, um, even if we do add one or two, you know, to help us get over the line, but I think... Um, me and the players are confident that we can do it and especially with our away form we'll be confident going into the Plymouth game. Yeah, the manager's trying to bring in new faces this month but has he said anything to you about extending? Your, you know, you've got six months left now, yeah, your, your first um, deal's up. Um, yeah, it's fine. Um, I haven't really spoken to anyone about it um, but um, you know, at the moment um, um, I just want to really get my head down and play football and, and get us to as high as possible and, and get to where we're at. You know, I just, let the people upstairs deal with that and um, you know, come the end of the season uh, hopefully we can sit down and talk and if they want to keep me on we'll see what happens from there yeah, it's, um, You've been playing in a lot of different positions this season but you haven't really played wide in a five have you this season which is something that has worked well in the past with one central striker and sort of two iron out wingers is that something you'd quite like to have a go at? Yeah, I mean, I feel that if I if I'm honest, I feel that the three in the centre of the park is important for us to have the extra pass, and, and I really do want to. I prefer to play it wide. Um, I might be playing another position, but I do prefer that's my actual position, and that's something we've not done. I feel because the gaffer wants to always play two strikers, but you know, away from home, if we can, the only other alternative to a diamond would be three in the middle with two out wide um, with um, someone up top, and I feel the, the strikers we got, we can play one up top. But you know, he's the, he's the manager; it's up to him, and well, that'll be something that could be interesting but um you know, I'd be happy to be in the side first and foremost because I don't think no one's really that another other place after the Akron game. Yeah, have you got any theories as to why it works so much better with, with an extra man in the middle and why you know it doesn't hasn't quite worked with two? I just feel that that extra pass has given us the confidence confidence. Um it, it's I think um we played the diamond more to be probably hard harder to beat at, at the time and you know I feel particularly when Nobby was in there and that he, he kept us playing and we had a bit more solidarity in there at the time and um, it's just it's just happened that way this season and, I think that extra pass is key, even when we did change Young to a diamond, when, when we played against Akron, <laughs> um, then we had the extra pass and we looked a bit better. So, um, yeah, if, if whether it's five in the middle or uh, the diamond, I probably think that's probably suiting us best at the minute. Yeah, hopefully you won't be one of them. <laughs>